Hi, I'm Paradoxical, and I'm here to tell you some things that you can probably live without, but if you find out, your life might become more interesting and not as depressing as it is now. Just kidding. Against all odds, these remarkable individuals defied the impossible. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the extraordinary stories of real-life survivors who defied the odds and emerged victorious against seemingly insurmountable challenges. From incredible tales of resilience to mind-boggling feats of human determination, get ready to be inspired by people who survived impossible. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us on this incredible journey of hope, courage, and triumph. Hugh Glass, born c. 1783, died c. 1833, American frontiersman and fur trapper who became a folk hero after surviving a bear attack and then traveling hundreds of miles alone to safety. Little is known of Glass's life before 1823, when he signed up for a fur trading expedition backed by William Henry Ashley. The group departed from St. Louis in March. Several months later they were attacked by Native Americans, and Glass was slightly wounded. In August he was scouting near present-day Lemon, South Dakota, when he was attacked by a bear. Although the animal was killed, according to some accounts, by Glass himself, the incident left him badly injured. He reportedly had a broken leg, a ripped scalp, a punctured throat, and numerous gashes. Believing him mortally wounded, the expedition leaders left two men, John Fitzgerald and Jim Bridger, to stay with Glass until he died. However, several days later Fitzgerald and Bridger decided to rejoin their group. They placed Glass in a shallow grave and departed with his weapons. Shortly thereafter Glass regained enough strength to begin the arduous journey to Fort Kiowa, near present-day Chamberlain, South Dakota. Over the next two months, he traveled some 200 to 300 miles, 322 to 483 kilometers. Details of his ordeal later took on legendary proportions, making it difficult to sort fact from fiction. Claims that he was able to continue only by crawling at various points are almost certainly true, but the story that he lost consciousness on one occasion and awoke to find a grizzly bear licking clean wounds that were infested with maggots seems unlikely. After recuperating at Fort Kiowa, Glass set out to kill Bridger and Fitzgerald for abandoning him. During his travels to locate the two men, Glass was reportedly attacked by Native Americans on two occasions. After finding Bridger, Glass forgave him because of his age, Bridger was 19 years old at the time of the incident. Accounts differ concerning Fitzgerald. Some say that Fitzgerald had joined the army and was thus safe from any retaliation by Glass. Other sources, however, claim that Glass found Fitzgerald and forgave him as well. Glass eventually resumed trapping. In the mid-1820s he was again wounded during a clash with Native Americans, an arrowhead was reportedly shot into his back. About 1833 he was on an expedition near Fort Cass, present-day Treasure County, Montana, when he was involved in another confrontation with Indians. On that occasion, though, Glass was killed. His legend lives on through numerous articles and books as well as several films, including The Revenant, 2015, in which Leonardo DiCaprio starred as Glass. Aaron Lee Ralston, born October 27, 1975, is an American mountaineer, mechanical engineer, and motivational speaker, known for surviving a canyoneering accident by cutting off part of his own right arm. Ralston worked as a mechanical engineer with Intel in Ocotillo, Tacoma and Albuquerque for five years, but found himself burned out by working in a large corporation. After the accident occurred, Ralston made numerous appearances in the media. On July 21, 2003, Ralston appeared on The Late Show with David Letterman, and his story was featured by GQ's Men of the Year and Vanity Fair's People of 2003. Aaron Ralston's harrowing survival story in Utah's Blue John Canyon in 2003 is nothing short of extraordinary. While hiking alone, he became trapped when a massive boulder pinned his arm, leaving him stranded in a remote, desolate location. With limited supplies and no way to signal for help, he faced an excruciating decision, 
amputate his own arm to escape the deadly predicament. For five grueling days, Aaron endured severe physical and emotional torment as he contemplated his options. His resourcefulness and resilience were put to the ultimate test as he tried various methods to free himself. Finally, driven by sheer determination and the realization that it was his only chance at survival, he made the agonizing decision to amputate his own arm using a dull pocket knife. Aaron's astonishing courage and adaptability under extreme duress captured the attention of the world. His story of survival against all odds became an inspirational symbol of human resilience. It was later adapted into the movie, 127 Hours, directed by Danny Boyle and starring James Franco, which further brought his incredible ordeal and indomitable spirit to a global audience. Aaron Ralston's remarkable tale continues to serve as a testament to the strength of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. The incredible survival story of Jose Salvador Alvarenga is a testament to the boundless human spirit's capacity to endure and adapt. Cast adrift at sea for a staggering 438 days in a small fishing boat, his journey is a tale of unimaginable resilience and resourcefulness in the face of nature's harshest elements. Jose Salvador Alvarenga's ordeal began when he and a companion set sail from Mexico in a small fishing boat. Unexpectedly, they were caught in a powerful storm that left them adrift in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months as they drifted aimlessly, far from the safety of land. During his long and arduous journey, Alvarenga's survival instincts kicked in. With no supplies or means of communication, he relied on his resourcefulness to stay alive. He sustained himself by catching fish, birds, and turtles using his bare hands and ingenuity. These meager sources of sustenance provided him with the nutrition needed to endure his extreme isolation and the physical challenges of life at sea. Drinking rainwater and eating raw seafood became his daily routine as he battled the elements, including scorching heat and violent storms. The relentless monotony of life at sea and the constant uncertainty of his fate would have broken many, but Alvarenga's unwavering determination to survive pushed him to endure every trial that the ocean threw his way. Jose Salvador Alvarenga's 438 Days Adrift at Sea is a story that underscores the extraordinary lengths humans will go to in order to survive. His ability to adapt, his resourcefulness in catching food, and his resilience in the face of extreme isolation and physical challenges are a testament to the indomitable human spirit. This incredible tale of survival continues to inspire and remind us of the incredible power of the human will when faced with the most dire and seemingly insurmountable circumstances. Jose Salvador Alvarenga's journey stands as a testament to human endurance, resourcefulness, and the unyielding spirit to survive against all odds. The astonishing survival story of Julianne Koepke stands as a testament to human perseverance and the will to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. In 1971, she experienced a plane crash in the heart of the Amazon rainforest that left her as the sole survivor. Her remarkable journey of survival, following her father's advice to follow a river downstream, is a remarkable tale of resilience and determination. Julianne Koepke's harrowing ordeal began when the Lanza Flight 508, on which she was a passenger, was struck by lightning and disintegrated mid-air over the dense Amazon rainforest. Remarkably, Julianne fell two miles to the ground still strapped to her seat, which ultimately acted as a makeshift parachute, saving her life. Despite being severely injured, with a broken collarbone, a gash on her arm, and numerous other injuries, Julianne summoned her inner strength and resolve to survive. Drawing upon her father's advice to follow a river downstream if ever lost in the jungle, she began her arduous journey. Over the course of 11 days, Julianne navigated through the thick and unforgiving Amazon rainforest, facing not only the challenges of hunger, fatigue, and injury but also encounters with dangerous wildlife. She forged ahead with unparalleled determination, drawing on her knowledge of the jungle and her father's wisdom. 
Julianne Kowepke's incredible survival story in the Amazon rainforest is a testament to human resilience and the extraordinary will to endure against all odds. Her ability to navigate the dense wilderness, overcome hunger and injury, and emerge from this ordeal alive is a testament to the human spirit's unwavering determination. Her eventual rescue by loggers demonstrated the indomitable nature of the human will to survive. Julianne's experience serves as an enduring source of inspiration and a reminder that even in the most challenging and dire circumstances, the human spirit can prevail through sheer perseverance and resilience. Her story continues to captivate and inspire people around the world, a living testament to the power of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Vesna Vulevich was born in Belgrade on January 3, 1950. Her father was a businessman and her mother was a fitness instructor. Driven by her love of the Beatles, Vulevich traveled to the United Kingdom after completing her first year of university, hoping to improve her English language skills. Vesna Vulevich's life story is a testament to human resilience in the face of unimaginable odds. In 1972, she was working as a flight attendant for JAT Yugoslav Airlines when the plane she was on, a DC-9, disintegrated mid-air over Czechoslovakia due to a bomb explosion. Vesna miraculously survived despite falling from an astonishing altitude of 33,333 feet, 10,160 meters, earning her a place in the Guinness World Records as the person who survived the highest fall without a parachute. When rescuers found her, Vesna was in critical condition, with multiple fractures and severe injuries, including a fractured skull and spine. She fell into a coma that lasted for several weeks. However, against all odds, she not only survived but made a remarkable recovery. Despite being paralyzed from the waist down, she exhibited incredible determination and underwent extensive rehabilitation. Vesna Vulevich's story became a symbol of resilience and hope. Her tenacity and spirit were an inspiration to many. Despite her disability, she continued to lead a fulfilling life and became an advocate for disabled individuals. Vesna's story reminds us of the extraordinary capacity of the human spirit to triumph over adversity, and her remarkable survival and achievements continue to inspire people worldwide. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, stay curious and keep exploring.